Hey guys, so today's video will be a K-pop merch DIY, K-pop everything I'm boyfriend girl needs. I don't know what to call it. So yeah, this will also be my last summer video before back to school video kicks in. Actually, yeah, this is my last video, so yeah. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So for the first DIY, you will need a pair of sunglasses. Mine are from Forever 21. They're really affordable. Then taking these alphabet stickers I got from Walmart, I will then spell out Astro Babies around it. Um, since I heard Astro is going to KCON LA this year, so I thought this is a great idea to make for you guys to rock at KCON. And at first, I apply it with my finger, which was so difficult. So I highly recommend you to use a tweezer. It's much easier to apply. And that's basically it. It was so easy to make, and I'm pretty sure if you make this DIY, you are gonna slay at KCON. For this next DIY, I start off by going on PicMonkey and create my own design. Also, if you are wondering, PicMonkey is free to use. Anyways, just to make sure that my canvas is transparent, then I'll click on the little butterfly on the side and choose Comic Bubble. And you can basically just see what I'm doing. I'm just adding like three Comic Bubble with different colors so they have like this kind of 3D effect look to it. Yeah, you can see what I'm doing. Once that is done, I'll then move on to the text I want to put on there. So basically, I just wrote Jungkook because he's my ultimate bias. Um, but you know, you can write any of your bias name on there. The font I use is called Fun Size, I believe. And then I just put a little heart on the side, which make it look so cute and save it to my computer. Then I just print it out on cardstock paper. And if you're wondering, yes, I also did a tutorial similar to this. Um, I'll link it down below in the description box so you can see how I print it. Flip the image on Microsoft Word so it like stick front and back. Yeah, you can see what I'm doing. I'm really bad at explaining, but that's why this is a video tutorial, right? Anyways, taking a popsicle stick, I'm gonna then take my hot glue gun and apply apply some glue at the tip and then I'm gonna stick it to the cardboard paper. I feel like every fanboy, fangirl out there we need, you know, a fan of our bias is either our face or like their name on there so like they can see us, you know, when we're like we're cheering for them. But anyways, going back to the tutorial, yes, I am putting hot glue on both sides of the popsicle stick and between the two cardstock paper. And if you're wondering, I always do on cardstock car paper is because they tend to last longer and it's much thicker than regular printing paper. And that's basically it. It's like a really last minute DIYs for those of you that's going to KCON and like, you know, you just want to hold something up so your bias can see you. Um, and it's really affordable like always. I tend, I like to keep my DIY really affordable because, you know, we all on a budget, right? And then lastly, I'm just taking some acrylic paint and then painting the leftover popsicle stick. This is optional, you don't have to do it, but you know me, I'm really extra. So I decide to paint it and I can like make a ton of these and like, you know, give them away. Like I, and yeah, I might. Anyways, and that's the completed product. As for the last DIY in this video, you need a tote bag and I got mine from Walmart which is really affordable. I'm pretty sure it was under 10 bucks. Then you need some fabric transfer paper. Each fabric transfer paper have different instructions so be sure to read it. I got these at Walmart but I'm pretty sure you can get it on Amazon or eBay also which is cheaper. So I followed the instruction and print out the picture I want to go on my tote bag and it say to flip the image so that's what I did. Then I just trim it up and I kind of like eyeball where I want to place it. So it takes me a while but yeah, I just eyeball where I want to place it and then I will iron it on and you guys so i accidentally delete the footage where i like peel off the transfer paper on so i am so sorry that is like the most satisfying satisfying part to see but i am so sorry i delete the part where i tear off the transfer paper so yeah i iron for about 20 to 30 minutes if you are wondering but once again be sure to read the instruction and after the time um you just want to gently peel it off and that's basically it um that's it for the tutorial i am so sorry i lost the footage or i accidentally deleted it so yeah i'm gonna go now <laughs> So here we go 
guys enjoyed that video thank you so much for watching like always and if you watch into the outro um i hit 50k not too long ago and i say there will be a giveaway soon i'm still planning it i'm still you know ordering stuff for this giveaway so yeah but anyways if you watch to the end of this video i will be giving this away so look out for that i'm giving this away in my 50k giveaway this little black pink tote bag which is like i'm pretty sure this is like 25 dollars if you like try to buy it but i'm giving it to you for free and i did it myself with my own handwork so yeah okay so i'm get on a really strange topic but i'm gonna get on it anyways because i've been wanting to say this ever since 2017 started i don't know you guys noticed i don't post as much k-pop diy videos on my channel anymore the only group i really stand is bts i only listen majority of the time is j part and in one video it contains like three to four diy so you do the math and calculate how much DIY I made already on K-pop and I have come to the point where I feel like I'm idolizing and worshiping them Which is like against my religion like honestly, I like K-pop for the music I enjoy listening to K-pop, but I feel like I'm bringing it to another extent Like I don't I don't think it's a need to like put a face or a logo on every little thing I make or every little thing I can think of like that's not my style of, of Aesthetic like I don't want everything I make have to have like a face on it or a logo on it Like I was overwhelmed. That's why I give all my K-pop DIYs away um, In my last giveaway video and over and over again It's just putting face and logo on it. So I feel like I'm idolizing them like my room was like for once it was like full of faces and like logo and like I'm like uh, I am idolizing but my point is I will only be posting K-pop DIY when I feel like it's the right time which is back to school season holidays and sometime like in a really long time I'll do like a random K-pop DIY but I'm not gonna upload it often as I used to anymore because that was just like overwhelming to me sometimes it's fun to have like a couple merch but not like too much merch and like fill up your room with K-pop K-pop. Some of you, it's okay, but to me, it's like I'm idolizing another person. So, yeah, I hope you guys can understand and still enjoy my other videos. So, my channel will be changing up a little. Um, yeah, I just want to put that out there. So, yeah, I explained it on Snapchat a couple of times already. So, I don't know. Did I sound so mean? <laughs> I'm not that mean, but I don't know. This has been on my mind since January. So, I'm finally saying it now. So, yeah. Okay, I'm going to go now. I'm going out. I don't know what to say. Ah, bye. I don't really want to offer. Bye.